Right, that's the big story that we're tracking this hour. Sanjay Singh, Ahmadmi Party's Rajya Sabha MP, has been arrested under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, the PMLA. Right from the start of the day, the ED Enforcement Directorate have been re they're in searching his house. They've been questioning him. It's been over a good five hours that he has been raided, his Delhi residence, right? Right in the morning, the ED knocked at his doors, and it appears now that Sanjay Singh has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate under the PMLA Act. This is, of course, with regards to the Delhi Liquor Gate. In fact, what we know is that the Enforcement Directorate is suspecting some money laundering with regards to the Delhi excise policy of 2021-22. Here is Sanjay Singh, who now stands arrested, almost third in command for Arvind K. Jival, right after Satyendra Jain, Manish Sisodia, it's now Sanjay Singh. Uh, we, we could safely say that he is one of the closest aides of uh, Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival. Right from the start of the day, all right, cutting across to Amit Bharadwaj, our correspondent joining us live. More on that. Amit, uh, we see already Amadmi Party Netas who are out on the streets there. They're, uh, they're protesting, seated in Dharna, uh, condemning the central government. While a little earlier today, we also saw the BJP members who were protesting, condemning the AAP's um, uh, moral high ground that they take of being corruption or corrupt, they're, that they're not corrupt. Uh, unlike other parties, they are, uh, they are true to their word, etc. BJP condemning them of being corrupt. And now AAP comes out to say that this is vendetta politics. We see protests galore now with Sanjay Singh's arrest. Absolutely right, Nabila. You know, as, uh, as the news is reaching the Amatmi Party supporters and in specifically uh, Sanjay Singh supporters, uh, they are reaching uh, to his residence. And what we are also given to understand that similar kind of... Uh, uh, you know, assembly can happen at Amadmi Party National Headquarters as well, which means that our supporters could be reaching Amadmi Party Headquarters as well. And there could be repeat of visuals, what we saw during Manish Sisodia's arrest. Remember, uh, the first time when Manish Sisodia was brought to the Rao's report as to how Hundreds and hundreds of Amadi Party supporters had gathered at uh, the AAP HQ and uh, they were protesting uh, aggressively, condemning the central government, attacking the Bharatiya Janata Party and saying that vendetta politics is being carried out against Amadi Party. In this case, uh, remember, Sanjay Singh is, uh, you know, a leader who is not only popular among, who is not only close to Arvind Kejriwal, but is also very popular amongst the uh, party yeah. cadre across the state. So given that uh, popularity, you know, the kind of protest that is expected was, uh, uh, could be much higher than we have seen in the past as well. And you have rightly pointed out uh, such protests have already started uh, to uh, uh, spill out on the streets of the national capital. But this could spiral from here further. Because remember, if somebody who is popular amongst the uh, cadres across the states of Amadmi Party, as well as he's somebody who has been, uh, who has played a key role in India Alliance, you know, uh, negotiating the terms, of uh, uh, being very uh, a key uh, uh, leader as far as the strategy of campaign and elections are concerned. Nabila. You know, if I could explain uh, to our viewers, uh, giving clarity on the visuals that we see on our screens, on the right-hand side, the extreme right, you have Sanjay Singh's residence, where you see the forces... Uh, the Delhi police as well as the uh, central forces who are deployed right outside uh, his residence while he is being interrogated inside his own home. Raids happened by the Enforcement Directorate early this morning and they still continue to do so. But the uh, update we have from the inside is that Sanjay Singh now stands arrested under PMLA Act with in connection with the Delhi liquor gate, the Delhi excise policy of 2021-22. And on the extreme left, you see visuals of the Ahmadmi Party who are out on the streets crying foul, calling this vendetta politics. We know that uh, Sanjay Singh had earlier today, right when the raids happened, in the morning he said, it is, uh, I'm being raided because I raised questions about uh, BJP and Adani's links, about their dubious uh, activities of Adani group. That's the reason why I'm being targeted. This is precisely the words of Sanjay Singh when he was raided right in the start of the day. Lots of reactions coming in. Sanjay Singh now is arrested. Ahmadmi Party's Rajya Sabha MP under the PMLA Act. Let me cut across to those reactions. In this whole process, 
एक फूटी कौड़ी नहीं मिली एक नया पैसा नहीं मिला अगर कोई घोटाला होता तो पता नहीं कितने हजारों करोड़ रुपए बरामद होते कितनी संपत्ति सोना चांदी जेवरात गाड़ियां बंगले फार्म हाउस जमीने कितनी संपत्ति बरामद होती जो अक्सर घोटालों में होती है नजर आता है ये दिखाता है कि घोटाला नहीं ये कोई अनियमितताओं का केस नहीं राजनीति से प्रेरित भारतीय जनता पार्टी जो दो के चुनाव हारने जा रही है उस हार को सामने देख डरी हुई है घबराई हुई ये एक बौखलाई हुई बीजेपी जो आने वाला चुनाव हारने जा रही है उस हार के डर से आनंद फानन में ये काम कर रही है ऐसे खाए हैं तो सच्चाई सामने आएगी ही संजय सिंह अरविंद केजरीवाल आप कितना भी शोर मचाते रहे आज संजय सिंह की गिरफ्तारी से एक बात तो सच हो गई कि सच्चाई छुप नहीं सकती सच्चाई सामने आती है संजय सिंह ने पहले दिन से शराब घोटाले में पैसे खाए थे और कल जब दिनेश अरोड़ा सरकारी गवाह बने तभी तय हो गया था कि संजय सिंह बच नहीं सकते क्योंकि दिनेश अरोड़ा ने अपनी गवाही में पहले दिन कहा था कि जब वो अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर गए थे तो संजय सिंह वहां मौजूद थे इसलिए तो हम कह रहे हैं मिले जब कड़ी कड़ी एक जंजीर बने संजय सिंह के बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल अब देखिए होता है क्या दिल्ली के शराब माफिया घोटाले का एक और अपराधी राज्यसभा सांसद संजय सिंह अब वो भी तिहाड़ जा रहे हैं दिल्ली के हजारों परिवार इन्होंने अपने शराब के खेल में बर्बाद कर दिए आज दिल्ली की उन्हीं माता बहनों की हाई लगी है विजय नायर भी जेल में है मनीष सिसोदिया भी जेल में है और अब संजय सिंह भी तिहाड़ जेल में रहेंगे कई सरकारी गवाहों ने यह कहा है कि उन्होंने पैसे केजरीवाल के कहने पर दिए तो मुझे लगता है की आंखों में जरा भी शर्म बची है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल को इस्तीफा दे देना चाहिए ये सुनिश्चित है कि अंत अरविंद केजरीवाल का भी तिहाड़ जेल के अंदर ही होगा जब आप पैसे बांट रहे थे करोड़ों रुपया ले रहे थे तो भैया जेल तो जाना ही पड़ेगा साफ तो देना ही पड़ेगा अब कह रहे अब कह रहे जी वेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स है अब अपने आप को सिंपति लोगों के लिए कोशिश कर रहे थे कि हम तो मासूम है हम इंसाफ के लिए लड़ All right, those are live visuals coming in from right outside Sanjay Singh's residence. He is being questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. Shreya, our correspondent, is right there on ground at the epicenter where all the action is happening. I'm going to cut across. Shreya, give give us more details on how long has it been since the ED is at the ho- at the house of Sanjay Singh? Uh, do we know the line of questioning and under what uh, act? has sanjay singh been arrested we know this is with regards to the delhi liquor scam but give us the 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 exact reason to why this arrest has come into play well nabila you know uh, it's been almost uh, over 9 hours that the enforcement directorate knocked the residence of sanjay singh he's been put under arrest barely half an hour back ever since we've been seeing protests under its way uh, by aam aadmi supporters amidst that you can see uh, the security being beefed by the delhi police outside sanjay singh's residence as he will be taken out from his residence very shortly what are the line of questioning why he has been put under arrest remember recently dinesh arora one of the accused in the case of turned an approver he in an alleged statement to the enforcement directorate had mentioned sanjay singh's name uh, that sanjay singh was the one who was present when he had met the chief minister during the alleged formation of the liquor policy uh, in the national capital so these are the allegations based on which ed carried out raids now you can see movement and any time shortly he will be taken out from his residence All right we see the doors just opened up is uh, is it likely that Sanjay Singh is going to be stepping out uh, he is going to be taken into custody by the enforcement directorate uh, so what's the way forward uh, shreya do we know if he has any legal remedy to take up with immediate effect well obviously after he is put under arrest and there will be a court hearing when the enforcement directorate will be seeking his custody uh, they will be pushing for bail but under the pmla it is unlikely and we are seeing that trouble is mounting for sanjay singh as the enforcement directorate uh, makes this a uh, case against him now with dinesh arora turning an approver and uh, making the issue that sanjay singh was the person who had actually uh, i mean uh, introduced uh, uh, dinesh arora to manish sisodia and subsequently he was the one on whose request dinesh arora had arranged checks to the worth of 32 lakhs 
uh, and arranged it for election funds and given it to Manish Sisodia. So these are serious allegations that have been uh, leveled against him by one of the accused who have now turned an approver, and that's why we have seen this raid taking place by Enforcement Directorate. Sanjay Singh's name was also mentioned in the chart sheet that was filed by the Enforcement Directorate, and after over nine hours of raid, we see him being put under arrest. There is a movement at his residence. Uh, Any time we will see Sanjay Singh being taken out from his residence to the Enforcement Directorate for the formal procedures. What we see here is Sanjay Singh's residence. The doors are just open. It's likely that Sanjay Singh will be brought out. The ED officers are inside. It's been nine hours since he's been questioned. Uh, this is, uh, uh, comes as a huge setback for the Aam Aadmi Party because this is their third in command. You had Satyendra Jain who went into prison uh, first. Then you had uh, Deputy Manish Sisodia who's still in uh, prison as the investigation for the Delhi Liquor Gate continues. The third one, uh, and, and, and possibly the biggest for the Aam Aadmi Party, Sanjay Singh, who is known to be extremely popular among the people, the Aam Aadmi Kader, uh, a, a senior leader, an MP of the Rajya Sabha. He's now been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. Do we know, Shreya, how many officers are currently present inside Sanjay Singh's residence? Uh, well, a senior rank uh, officer uh, is present. Uh, there are two at least officers present from the Enforcement Directorate who are questioning Sanjay Singh while the raids were uh, uh, on uh, its way since morning at the residence of Sanjay Singh in North Avenue. And there, these were several rounds of questioning that he has been put in place. Remember, this was the first time that his residence had been raided. And after Mani Sisodia and Satinder Jain being put under arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the liquor policy scam, it is now time for Sanjay Singh. His name was mentioned, as I earlier uh, said, in the liquor policy scam in the charge sheet that was filed by the Enforcement Directorate. But the action comes only after Dinesh Arora and Raghav Magunta, two of those accused who have turned approver. So their statements somewhere down the line are being made as a base for uh, this uh, uh, this action that has now been moved in by the Enforcement Directorate. Earlier in the morning, Nabila, interestingly, we also saw the Delhi BJP workers protest outside the Ahmadbi Party office seeking a resignation of the Arvind Kej of the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. So as we see the agencies, uh, I mean, increase their action against Ahmadbi Party leaders, there is also politics playing out on the street so far as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned. All right, uh, you know, stay with us. We also have Anmol Bali, who's our uh, correspondent, uh, tracking the ED for us. Anmol, go on. Uh, ED officers, 11 hours and counting inside Sanjay Singh's residence. They've arrested him under the PMLA Act, suspect, that, uh, suspect charges of money laundering with the proceeds of the crime with regards to Delhi Liquor Gate, the liquor policy itself, excise policy, money that was uh, received. A lot of it was taken as kickbacks by Sanjay Singh. This is the suspicion of which they've arrested him. Do take us through the details and the legalities with which they've, uh, uh, based on which they've arrested the third in command of the Aam Aadmi Party. Navila, currently I am here at the ED office, as you can see behind me. I am front of the Enforcement Directorate office here on the APJ Abdul Kalam Mark. But Sanjay Singh has not arrived yet. But yes, according to our sources, he has been arrested and he is on the way to the office. And here you can see the security is beefed up and they have barricaded the area. The, both the roads leading to the Enforcement Directorate office has been barricaded. Police deployment have come here. Delhi police persons have deployed here for the security reasons. I will tell you, in morning today, raids started at the residence of Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh who is third in command and this is the uh, second big arrest after uh, Manish Sasodia, uh, ex-Deputy Chief Minister in Delhi government and uh, according to agencies uh, uh, Mr. Singh arranged the meetings with Dinesh Arora who is one of the accused in the liquor scam and because of this he has he's arrested today but he hasn't reached here at the ED office yet Nabila. All right. Uh, tell, tell us more about the response that's come in from Sanjay Singh. Right after his house was raided in the morning, we believe Sanjay Singh has given a very cryptic message saying that I spoke up against the BJP's links with Adani. I raised issues of the dubious activities, alleged dubious activities uh, conducted by the Adani group. And therefore, I'm being targeted. These were the words of Sanjay Singh soon as the ED knocked on his doors this morning. 
Navila, uh, in morning we have seen that uh, ED officials knocked at the door of the Sanjay Singh and the Sanjay Singh said this is an exercise to tarnish his image before the 2024 elections because he is one of the glue uh, in the India alliance between the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress and he is also the third in command in the Aam Aadmi Party. The second thing here is that uh, the Sanjay Singh uh, is now, uh, uh, will be coming here within five to six minutes. We have talked with some of the sources and he is on the way, Navila. All right. I'm going to cut across to Shreya Chatterjee is also joining us. Uh, Shreya, tell us more on Sanjay Singh's response right from the staff. Uh, in fact, uh, Arvind Kejriwal says that this is vendetta politics. They are staring at a defeat. BJP is looking, they, they don't see chances of return in 2024 and therefore they're targeting our leaders. But one after the other, we're seeing Avadmi Party Netas being linked to the Delhi liquor gate. And there seems to be some evidence that the ED has, which we aren't aware of, but it's been nearly uh, a, a good year or more that the ED is searching, probing, investigating the matter, but nothing concrete that's come out of it. Two of your top leaders, Satyendra Jain and Manish Sisodia, both are currently still in prison. You have Sanjay Singh now, who's been taken into custody as well. Shreya, if you can hear me. There seem to be a, a lot of uh, chaos happening right outside Sanjay uh, Singh's residence. That's the visual that we're showing to you right outside on the right-hand side. Uh, visuals outside Sanjay Singh's home, Aam Aadmi Party MP, Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh, who's been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in a money laundering case in connection with the Delhi excise policy. On the left, the extreme left, you see Aam Aadmi Party members who are protesting, calling this vendetta, crying foul, saying this is uh, a bid to uh, suppress the voice of the AAP leaders. They are protesting right after the BJP protested a little earlier. BJP claims that Aam Aadmi Party takes a moral high ground of being honest politicians. But look what's happening. They are being, they are mired in uh, corrupt activities. Uh, a classic example is the Delhi Laker Gate. This is the BJP protesting a little earlier today, then followed by the Aam Aadmi Party Netas who have now come out on the streets. And just moments ago, barely about 20 minutes now, that news has come in. Sanjay Singh stands arrested. After nine, uh, uh, close to 10, 11 hours of questioning, Sanjay Singh is now arrested under the PMLA Act. Milan Sharma is also joining us live. More, Milan, over to you. Sanjay Singh has been questioned for nearly 11 hours. Do we know the line of questioning? Where is he going to be taken now since he's arrested by the ED under the PMLA Act? Uh, well, Nabila, uh, Sanjay Singh has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate, so uh, he will be taken here to the ED office uh, in uh, Delhi. Uh, this is something that was being discussed and sources came out and said that uh, Rajya Sabha MP Sanjay Singh will be put under arrest today. The questioning has been going on since early morning and uh, with the, a long round of questioning, finally, uh, the Enforcement Directorate uh, has decided that Sanjay Singh will be arrested. Of course, we know that uh, Dinesh Aroda actually became uh, uh, you know, confident of the police in this particular case. He has been giving information uh, to the Enforcement Directorate as well and he became an approver in the ED case so far as the liquor policy scam is concerned and which is why in his initial meetings where it has been alleged by Sanjay Arora, uh, by, uh, sorry, by Dinesh Arora that Sanjay Singh uh, was the one who, who, through, uh, with whom uh, he met Manish Sisodia and uh, later on he was then introduced to Arvind Kejriwal. This happened at one of the events that was organized as a fundraising event as well. And all this has been written down uh, by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, taking these things into account, Sanjay Singh is currently being put under arrest by the Enforcement Directorate. Earlier also, uh, three aides of Sanjay Singh, being Rajya Sabha a member, had already been questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, one of these uh, people, uh, uh, their names are Sarvesh uh, Mishra, his close aide Ajit Tyagi and Vivek. Three of them had already been questioned by the officials.
at that point uh, their important documents and laptops etc were also seized this morning not just sanjay singh but his wife who was present at the residence his father and other people were also being questioned with regards to the delhi liquor policy scam and now that the entire uh, you know close aid group of arvind kejriwal that involves of course earlier uh, manish sisodia as well as now uh, sanjay singh have been put under arrest by agency satendra jain uh, is already in jail uh, a big blow to the aam aadmi party so to say because uh, the aam aadmi party's representative face in the rajya sabha in the parliament is sanjay singh and he alleges that since he has been speaking against uh, uh, big conglomerates big corporates and against the bjp not just outside the parliament but within he is uh, being targeted at the moment but of course big drama yet to right right Milan uh, what what we know of is that Sanjay Singh has been arrested under the PMLA act and this is in connection with the Delhi excise policy but it's been a good year and a half uh, uh, much over a year all right i'm cutting across to munish who's right outside sanjay singh's residence munish if you can hear me tell us bring us all that commotion that's happening right outside what time is sanjay singh going to be brought out well nabila these are the live visuals from the residence of sanjay singh where uh, you know just a... ye cheeze chal rahi hai desh mein uh, we have been given to under bahar nikal rahe hain stepped out waving waving at the crowds there aap visual dekh sakte hain he is currently arrested by the enforcement bahar nikal chuke hain wo haath hila rahe hain sanjay singh pehli tasveer sanjay singh ki pehli tasveer dikhai de rahi hai Sanjay Singh's first image right after 11 hours of questioning by the enforcement directorate he steps out waves at the crowds huge crowds who have gathered mostly members of the Aam Aadmi Party who have gathered right outside Sanjay Singh's residence after he was grilled by the enforcement directorate he's been calling this vendetta politics right from the start of the day he comes out waves at the crowds with a smile i will cooperate go for it don't worry sanjay singh has been arrested by the ed after he was named by businessman dinesh arora and accused in the delhi liquor case who's later turned an approver based on which sanjay singh's name has appeared on the charge sheet nearly 3 times This was impending is what many of the BJP neta says because Sanjay Singh's name has been in the charge sheet it was expected that he will be questioned and as expected early this morning the ED knocked on the doors of Sanjay Singh a senior leader of the Aam Aadmi Party Rajya Sabha MP a third in command in the Aam Aadmi Party a man with serious clout within the Aam Aadmi Party and the Delhi government Sanjay Singh there waving at the crowds as he's been arrested by the enforcement directorate in the Delhi liquor case. Party Sanjay Singh there who has been taken away by the enforcement director a huge huge blow undoubtedly for the Aam Aadmi Party uh, the party that's in power in Delhi for the third term Sanjay Singh who's a third in command in the AAP government he's been arrested by the enforcement directorate in prevention for money laundering act in connection with the Delhi liquor policy a case that's been investigated by the ED for nearly a year and a half now Sanjay Singh's name was indeed in the charge sheet so this raid the questioning was impending it's come right this morning
Sanjay Singh's house, uh, ED officers landed up. And 11 hours later, after questioning him, Sanjay Singh now has been arrested. And that's the first image that we're bringing to you right on our screens here, India Today told you so. The first breaking that we. ये जो आम आदमी पार्टी की प्रोटेस्ट है वो तुरंत शुरू हो गई थी जब से अरेस्ट हो गया और ये बताना बहुत जरूरी है कि संजय सिंह के खिलाफ जो एक्शन ईडी के तहत आई है वो दिनेश अरोरा अप्रूवर बनने के बाद आई है दिनेश अरोरा ने कुछ ऐसे स्टेटमेंट्स दिए हैं जिसमें उनका ये कहना है कि दिनेश संजय सिंह मौजूद थे जब अरविंद केजरीवाल के साथ लेकर पॉलिसी में मीटिंग हो रही थी और आप देख सकते हैं कि कैसे भिड़ गए हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता और दिल्ली पुलिस की जो लोग हैं आप देख सकते हैं कि कैसे यहाँ पे झड़प शुरू हो गई है ये जब से गाड़ी बाहर निकल रही थी तब से ऐसी नजारे देखने को मिल रही थी क्योंकि दिल्ली पुलिस भी इनके कार्यकर्ता को उठाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे इसीलिए आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता और दिल्ली पुलिस के बीच झड़प देखने को मिली That's a, me, uh, Shreya Chatterjee bringing us all that commotion from right outside. You see the kind of media frenzy there. Uh, undoubtedly, Awadmi Party Neta Sanjay Singh is a third in command. He holds that kind of clout. He is known to be the closest aide of Arvind Kejriwal. After what happened with Satyendra Jain and Manish Sisodia, it almost seemed like Sanjay Singh was one of those. Um, maybe the only or maybe one of the two people who were really close to the Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, who's known to be the third in command in the party itself as well as the Delhi government. He stands arrested. ED has just about taken Sanjay Singh from his residence. The uh, image that you see right on the center of our screen is Sanjay Singh just moments ago stepping after being grilled for nearly 11 hours and waving at the crowds there before he was taken away by the enforcement directorate. Now, the ED will seek his custody. How long are they going to seek his custody for? That remains to be seen. But we know now Satyendra Jain and Mani Sisodia. It's been uh, months now that they are still in prison. Mani Sisodia in the same Delhi liquor gate scam. He's been arrested and as investigations continue, he still remains in prison. You have Satyendra Jain, Delhi's health minister, at, at that point was accused of money laundering. In a different case, he's still in prison. Two of their biggest leaders, Ahmadni Party's biggest neta, Satyendra Jain, Manish Sisodia, who, who currently are in prison despite several attempts for bail, uh, have fallen futile. You have now the third biggest arrest within the Ahmadni Party, and that is Sanjay Singh. You see him right on the center of your screens there, just moments ago when he stepped out of his house after 11 hours of grilling by the enforcement directorate waves at all the crowds who are standing right outside in fact milin sharma is also right with us at the ed office she's outside the ed office milin tell us more is sanjay singh being brought to the ed office now uh, do we know of the likelihood on how long will the ed seek his custody and what are the legal remedies he could have Uh, well, uh, Nabila, we are outside the Enforcement Directorate's office and uh, the time taken from uh, Sanjay Singh's uh, official residence as a member of parliament from here, it's not too much. Perhaps in the next uh, 10 odd minutes, he should reach the Enforcement Directorate office, which is also in the central part of Delhi. Of course, uh, Sanjay Singh, being a member of parliament, can seek legal recourse as well. But remember, in May this year, the Enforcement Directorate had earlier also uh, allegedly apologized to Sanjay Singh for having named him in the charge sheet mistakenly. This was something that was claimed by uh, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well publicly. And uh, on the question that you asked, why now? Why is uh, he, he being was named arrested the now? Charge sheet is because Dinesh Arora became an approver. For what, for what, for what we know yes. is that yes, uh, he was named in the so, charge sheet three times uh, because Dinesh Arora mentioned him. But the fourth, the fourth mention of... Uh, Sanjay yes. Singh in the charge sheet was a mistake. So it was just one mistake. The other three rounds that was mentioned in the charge sheet yes. were very clearly worded as per Dinesh Arora's statement.
Of course, and which is why when Dinesh Arora became an approver for the Enforcement Directorate is why action was taken swiftly by the ED as well. Earlier on, uh, you know, the liquor policy scam that was being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate, as I mentioned earlier, close aides of Sanjay Singh, <clears throat> especially the ones he works with. Sarvesh Mishra, Ajit Tyagi, his PA, as well as Vivek Tyagi were all questioned around him. Their laptops were seized, their uh, equipment was taken, they were questioned for an entire day, spanning long hours. At that point of time, the Enforcement Directorate did not arrest his close aides. They were called in for questioning. But now, of course, uh, with the fact that Dinesh Arora has clearly mentioned that Sanjay Singh was a key point between meeting Manish Sodia as well as another meeting that was held in one of Dinesh Arora's own restaurants to make sure there were some lapses and loops created in the liquor policy to, uh, of course, uh, bring uh, and give brickbacks and kickbacks to these people. Of course, for that reason, Sanjay Singh became one of the major uh, points of uh, uh, debate here for the Enforcement Directorate also. And now that he has been mentioned in the charge sheet later on, saying that he was the key link between Manish Sisodia, as well as the South Cartel there that later on also uh, was brought into the entire liquor policy scam, Sanjay Singh is now being arrested. And as we show you visuals, of course, barricading have been uh, doubled over here with more police personnel having been brought over here. Uh, there are uh, rapid action force members also because perhaps it is expected that the Aam Aadmi Party will not take this line down. There could be supporters of the Aam Aadmi Party gathering at the Enforcement Directorate office because such are the scenes right outside the residence of Sanjay Singh as well. He's a popular leader, uh, you know, largely supported uh, and uh, respected in the Aam Aadmi Party. Of course, uh, we did see in the day, Saurabh Bhardavaj also did a press conference. Arvind Kejriwal also has been saying that they will find nothing, but ultimately, many, uh, several big leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party are now under the scanner of the enforcement agencies. This time, after Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh has also been put under, under arrest. Uh, we are yet... And this is the party result. I am going to tell you about the party result. Positive yes, result. Yes, it will come. If it doesn't come, you will meet us. If it comes, you will meet us. Which kind of positive result will come? सत्ता परिवर्तन होगा और कौन सी बात की रिजल्ट आएगा उन्होंने उसको पकड़ा जिसको बिना किसी जुर्म के सस्पेंड किया गया एडवांस सस्पेंड किया गया पार्लियामेंट से और जिसको सस्पेंड करना चाहिए था उसको इंचार्ज बना दिया गया राजस्थान का ठीक है we should wait. We should wait. All right, that's uh, Sanjay Singh's father who's speaking. Of course, there's, uh, th this has come as a big, big blow for the Aam Aadmi Party and undoubtedly for Sanjay Singh's family as well. Uh, Milan, who's still with us. Milan, go on. You were, you were speaking of the charges under which the Enforcement Directorate has arrested Sanjay Singh. Uh, it's been now over a year, Milan, that the ED is probing into the Delhi excise uh, policy case. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister, claims that there's not a rupee that they've found. Uh, there's, there's really no proof that they have but yet they are keeping our netas under custody. This, this is nothing but vendetta politics. So a year and more, a year and counting, you have the Delhi liquor case that still continues to be investigated. There's no closure, no solid proof as yet, claims the up. Uh, well, Nabila, rightly so, because the Aam Aadmi Party has been claiming that uh, they've been caught on a bad foot because they have been speaking against the ruling government. I'll come back to your question, but let me once again show you the commotion outside the Enforcement Directorate office, because as we speak, I expect that uh, the uh, convoy taking Sanjay Singh will be here because barricades are being moved. The media personnel is being told to move from the uh, space also. And the Delhi police uh, uh, deployment has also been in increased uh, uh, subsequently now because we are expecting Sanjay Singh to come here. So behind me you can see that they are, uh, you know, uh, making adequate security arrangements. Uh, you know, according to what the Enforcement Directorate has been saying and uh, what they have been putting forward in the charge sheet there, uh, Sanjay Singh spoke with many of the restaurant owners and arranged checks amounting to 32 lakhs that was handed over to Mani Sisodia for the collection of party funds for upcoming elections in Delhi. Now this is what 
what uh, the charge sheet says. Of course, Dinesh Arora, who has now become uh, the approver in the Enforcement Directorate case on the liquor policy scam, also has said this basis on which the Enforcement Directorate has filed this charge sheet. Earlier, as we were discussing, the Enforcement Directorate did name Sanjay Singh. Fourth time he was named mistakenly, but they also apologized. And the reason as to why Sanjay Singh is being arrested now, of course, puts a scanner on the timing of his particular arrest and his questioning. As I mentioned earlier, the three of his close aides were also uh, questioned uh, by the Enforcement Directorate, and these aides work closely with him. In this matter now, of course, uh, the arrest of Sanjay Singh comes as a blow to the Aam Aadmi Party after Manish Sisodia, uh, Satendra Jain already in jail and other leaders, uh, you know, other senior leaders of uh, the leadership in the Aam Aadmi Party are now uh, being put under the scanner. And especially when it comes to the liquor policy scam, the BJP has been uh, uh, very vocal when it comes to uh, the anti-corruption image of the Aam Aadmi Party and how it's being desecrated by this particular case in Delhi today. The Delhi BJP he had also, uh, you know, rigorously been holding protests against uh, the Aam Aadmi Party because when Manish Sisodia was put under arrest, he was still serving as the Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Delhi State. He was later, of course, uh, removed from that post uh, by, uh, you know, the Delhi government. And as we speak, Nabila, a commotion continues uh, outside the Enforcement Directorate office also because you will see that just in some time, uh, Sanjay Singh will be brought here, uh, although there have been party supporters of his who have been cheering for him outside the office, uh, outside his residence. We have seen how Sanjay Singh has been a fiery leader even in the parliament there. Yes, he has time and again spoken against uh, the BJP government, the ruling party, as well as, uh, you know, uh, uh, been pinpointing uh, their connection with uh, uh, Adani. And that has not gone down well with the government either. And this is what the Ahmad Party actually alleges, that because Sanjay Singh is a vocal leader, a uh, revered leader in the Hindi heartland belt. He has good, uh, you know, connects uh, in the India dot alliance as well. And which is why he is currently being targeted. Of what we know during the day and the course of the day that uh, uh, went on, his wife was also uh, questioned as well as his father. They were all called in inside the residence. Now, these people, of course, live with, them, live with him inside the residence. And, uh, of course, as I continue to show you visuals as well, there are movement of cars, official cars, as well as deployment that has been increased uh, outside the Enforcement Directorate office now. Uh, several of the Delhi police personnel, along with women police personnel and women uh, rapid action force members are also here uh, because uh, they want to uh, get Sanjay Singh in today. Of course, uh, he will be uh, questioned uh, and his custody will be taken. And uh, we are yet to find out, uh, you know, what kind of legal recourse that he will go into and how, uh, you know, uh, things will be taken further. How many days custody uh, that the Enforcement Directorate is going to uh, go forward with. And that is also another question because, uh, you know, the Enforcement Directorate will have uh, some sort of substance to put forward uh, the number of days that Sanjay Singh needs to be questioned further in the liquor right. policy scam, but a big, big blow to the Aam Aadmi Party there this time uh, as Rajya Sabha member uh, Sanjay Singh and very close aide of uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal and Sanjay Singh, like they are uh, Sanjay Singh is like ears and eyes of Arvind Kejriwal. And here we see here we see Sanjay Singh just being taken inside by the enforcement directorate. There, there. That's Sanjay Singh in the car and as he was leaving the car just swiftly move inside. He just waved at uh, uh, the media personnel and the police here. Uh, he ra just uh, shortly waved at the media people as he was being taken inside now. So, Nabila, I'm telling you and uh, we are breaking this news for our viewers at India Today. Sanjay Singh has now entered the Enforcement Directorate office. It's a little before 7 p.m. And as we were mentioning that he is going to be brought into the Directorate office. He has been swiftly brought inside uh, in a car uh, that was, uh, he was accompanied by officials as well as the police personnel. And as we were speaking, Sanjay Singh has now been taken inside the Enforcement Directorate office right from his residence there. Nabila. Well, this is this is huge blow and a setback for the Avadi Party million, considering that AAP intends to contest uh, Madhya Pradesh as well as Chhattisgarh. Both elections that are just around the corner, barely two months.
And we know what's happened with Manish Sisodia. He was taken into custody in the month of February. So we're looking at a good eight months that Manish Sisodia is still in prison. I'm cutting across this. I'm doing a little bit. I want to say that ऊपर से ये ईडी अडानी अंबानी जो भी है तो प्रेशर है ना ऊपर से कि संजय सिंह को जेल में डालना है तो उन्होंने किया वो हमारा आधार बनाया गया उन्होंने क्या बताया कोई आधार नहीं बताया आपकी पार्टी की बात करने जाती है नहीं उन्होंने कहा तुम बहादुर एक बहादुर पत्नी हो बहादुर पति की पत्नी हो इसलिए तुम हिम्मत मत मानना मेरे मैं उनके साथ हूं हमारे बच्चे साथ है मेरा परिवार साथ है इसलिए मैं उनको शुभकामना देती हूं कि तुम हमेशा संघर्ष करो हम तुम्हारे साथ आपकी आंखें डबडबा रही हैं नहीं 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 ये डबडबा नहीं रही है ठीक है अब इमोशनल तो होता है एक घर से पति जा रहा है और मतलब झूठे केस में जा रहा है तो थोड़ा सा तो कष्ट होता है all right, yeah, you have the wife of uh, Sanjay Singh saying the same, echoing the words of Sanjay Singh, who said that he spoke, I spoke of, against Adani and uh, highlighted the links of BJP with Adani. That's the reason I'm being targeted. I'm the one who, who's uh, vocal against the BJP government and the center, uh, and therefore I'm being targeted. This is what Sanjay Singh has said. This is what Arvind Kejriwal has said. The chief minister of Delhi says that uh, AAP is the only party that highlights the corrupt deeds uh, or, or the activities of the central government. And that's why they are being targeted. While they call this vendetta politics, one should know that the Delhi liquor policy is being investigated by the enforcement directorate with some substantial uh, evidence that they've already received of, uh, of misappropriation of funds, of the money that's been laundered. Now, the people who are in it, how, how deep are they in it? Uh, uh, what kind of willful crime have they committed? This is for something the ED uh, to establish through its uh, in, in conclusive investigative report. But for now, investigation is underway with all the biggies within the Amadmi party who are under scanner. It started with Manish Sisodia uh, in the same Delhi liquor policy. Now you have the third in command, Sanjay Singh, who has been pulled up. He's now been taken uh, by the ED into custody. How long are they going to keep him in custody? Uh, that remains to be seen. It all depends um, about, it depends over the arguments that they place before court. Uh, if they can keep him for investigation uh, and how long will that be? And only, it's an unfolding story that we at India Today are bringing to you. But for now, that image that you see here is clearly of uh, Sanjay Singh just about moments ago, maybe roughly 15 minutes ago, when Sanjay Singh stepped out of his home and waved at the crowds, uh, all smiles. And remember that that smile has come after 11 hours of grilling. He was grilled by the enforcement directorate, a team of the enforcement directorate, who landed up at his doors early this morning uh, with the Delhi police as well as the, the central forces. negativity <laughs> भारतीय जनता पार्टी को केंद्र की सत्ता में बिठाने के लिए बिल्कुल तैयार नहीं है आने वाले पांच राज्यों के अंदर चुनाव ज्यादातर राज्यों में भारतीय जनता पार्टी हार रही है वो चैनल्स जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी की मदद भी करते थे वे भी अपने ओपिनियन पोल में ज्यादा मदद नहीं कर पा रहे हैं क्योंकि ग्राउंड पे स्थिति बहुत खराब है महिला आरक्षण करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं गैस सिलेंडर सस्ता करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं कल भारत के जाने माने बड़े बड़े पत्रकार जो बेखौफ निडर होके जनता के सवाल केंद्र सरकार से करते हैं उनके घरों पे छापे मारे गए उनको पुलिस थाने ले जाया गया सुबह से शाम तक पूछताछ की गई उनको देशद्रोही बताने की कोशिश की और आज भारतीय संसद में लोगों की सबसे मजबूत आवाज 
संजय सिंह जी को जिस तरीके से बिना किसी सबूत बिना किसी ठोस कारण गिरफ्तार किया गया है ये बात साबित होती है कि प्रधानमंत्री जी जानते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री जी चुनाव हार रहे हैं और निराशा है हार का डर है बौखलाहट है डेस्परेशन है जिसमें अब इस तरीके के उलझुलूल काम केंद्र सरकार केंद्रीय एजेंसियों से करा रही है और हर एक सरकार जो तानाशाही की तरफ बढ़ती है उसके लक्षण होते हैं कि जब सत्ता जा रही होती है तो इस तरीके के कारनामे सामने आते हैं और इसकी वजह से सत्ता बची किसी की नहीं है इसकी वजह से सत्ता और तेजी से हाथ से फिसलती चली जाती है और आप देखेंगे आप इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस को याद करिएगा 2024 के चुनाव के बाद इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस को मैं दोबारा से ट्वीट करूंगा कि ये जो बौखलाहट थी इससे भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कोई फायदा नहीं हुआ मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा आतिशी जी जो हैं अपनी बात रखेंगे उसके बाद प्रियंका जी से भारतीय जनता पार्टी की केंद्र सरकार उनकी सारी एजेंसीज उस एजेंसीज के सैकड़ों अफसर सिर्फ एक काम में लगे हुए हैं कि किसी तरह से इस तथा कथित शराब घोटाले में उन्हें एक रुपए के भ्रष्टाचार का सबूत मिल जाए आम आदमी पार्टी के खिलाफ लेकिन एक साल की इन्वेस्टिगेशन के बाद एक ऐसी इन्वेस्टिगेशन जिसमें सैकड़ों अफसर ईडी के काम कर रहे हैं सैकड़ों अफसर सीबीआई के काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन पंद्रह महीने के बाद भी एक रुपए के भ्रष्टाचार का सबूत भारतीय जनता पार्टी की एक भी एजेंसी देश के सामने नहीं रख पाई है आज जो संजय सिंह जी को गिरफ्तार किया है वो गिरफ्तारी भी बिना किसी सबूत के आज की गई है ये गिरफ्तारी क्यों हुई है संजय सिंह जी की इसलिए नहीं कि कोई सबूत है इसलिए नहीं कि कोई शराब घोटाला हुआ है इसलिए नहीं कि एक पैसे का भी भ्रष्टाचार का खुलासा कर पाई है ईडी और सीबीआई आज संजय सिंह जी का अरेस्ट सिर्फ इसलिए हुआ है क्योंकि भारतीय जनता पार्टी को और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अपने खिलाफ आवाज उठाने वालों से डर लगता है आम आदमी पार्टी से डर लगता है संजय सिंह से डर लगता है हम ये देख रहे हैं कि केंद्र सरकार की जो ये बौखलाहट है जो ये हार की बौखलाहट है अब इस प्रकार की तानाशाही के रूप में सामने आ रही है हमने कल ही देखा कि देश के जाने माने पत्रकारों के घर पर रेड हुई उनको डिटेन किया गया उनके फोन ले लिए गए उनके लैपटॉप ले लिए गए क्यों क्योंकि वो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के खिलाफ आवाज उठाते हैं कल शाम को हमने देखा कि किस तरह से टीएमसी के सांसद जब कृषि भवन गए कृषि मंत्री से मिलने की कोशिश करी किसानों की आवाज उठाने की कोशिश करी तो टीएमसी के सांसदों को किस तरह से घसीट घसीट कर पुलिस ने कृषि भवन से बाहर निकाला आज हमने देखा कि आज सुबह ही संजय सिंह जी के घर पहुंच गए और आठ घंटे तक ईडी संजय सिंह जी के घर में बैठी रही एक घर जिसमें मात्र चार कमरे हैं उन्हें पूरी अपनी छानबीन करने में भी एक घंटे से ज्यादा समय नहीं लगता चार कमरे के घर में रहते हैं संजय सिंह जी 
लेकिन ये पहले से एक प्री प्लान स्क्रिप्ट था कि जाएंगे आठ घंटे बैठेंगे और फिर कहेंगे कि आठ घंटे की पूछताछ के बाद संजय सिंह जी की गिरफ्तारी कर ली ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की हार की बौखलाहट को दिखा रहा है ये प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की हार की बौखलाहट को दिखा रहा है आज उनको भी पता है कि चाहे आने वाले चार राज्यों के चुनाव हो चाहे 2024 का लोकसभा का चुनाव हो देश की जनता ने अब भारतीय जनता पार्टी को बाहर फेंकने का मन बना लिया है और जब भी कोई तानाशाही की सरकार देखती है कि उनका समय आ गया है तो उसके बाद यही सिलसिला शुरू होता है कि जो उनके खिलाफ आवाज उठाएगा उसको जेल में डाल दिया जाएगा और यही सिलसिला आज भारत में शुरू हो गया है कि चाहे पत्रकार हो चाहे विपक्ष के नेता हो उनको एक एक करके चुप करने की कोशिश की जा रही है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को बताना चाहती हूं कि हम आम आदमी पार्टी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के सिपाही हैं हम आपकी इन धमकियों से डरने वाले नहीं हैं आप चाहे आम आदमी पार्टी के हर नेता को जेल भेज दो आप चाहे हमें फांसी में टांग दो लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी का हर एक कार्यकर्ता हर एक विधायक हर एक सांसद हर एक नेता इस देश के संविधान को बचाने के लिए लड़ता रहेगा आपने एक मनीष सिसोदिया को जेल में भेजा सौ मनीष सिसोदिया खड़े हो गए हैं उनकी जगह लड़ने के लिए आप एक संजय सिंह को जेल भेजेंगे संविधान को बचाने के लिए हजार संजय सिंह खड़े होंगे जो इस देश के दबे कुचले लोगों की आवाज उठाएंगे और इतिहास गवाह है कि हर तानाशाह का अंत इसी तरह हुआ है कि जब उन्होंने अपने विरोधियों की विपक्षियों की आवाज को दबाने की कोशिश की है वहीं से उनके अंत की शुरुआत हुई है और आज जो संजय सिंह जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है यह भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी की और उनकी सरकार के अंत की शुरुआत है प्रियंका जी केजरीवाल जी और उनका एक एक सिपाही कट्टर ईमानदार है ये बात सच है कि संजय सिंह जी सड़क से लेकर संसद तक बहुत मुखर होकर मोदी सरकार की पोल खोलते थे और वो जारी रहेगा ये बात भी सच है कि भाजपा ने मोदी सरकार ने अनेकों कोशिशें कर ली अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को तोड़ने की कभी हमें खरीदने की कोशिश की हम नहीं बिके हमें तोड़ने की कोशिश की हम नहीं झुके और अब ये लड़ाई और तेज होगी भाजपा को ग्राउंड पर जैसा सौरभ भाई ने बताया आज की डेट में कोई कसम नहीं करता भाजपा को मालूम है कि जो सुविधाएं अरविंद केजरीवाल की सरकार दिल्ली में देती है पंजाब में देती है भाजपा उसको मैच नहीं कर सकती इसलिए वो खत्म करना चाहती है ये देश का पहला घोटाला है जिससे सरकारी राजस्व में बढ़ोतरी हुई ये देश का पहला घोटाला है जिसमें पंद्रह महीने बीत गए और एक चवन्नी नहीं मिली हजार रेड कर ली पर एक चवन्नी नहीं मिली क्योंकि कुछ घोटाला किया ही नहीं हम ये लड़ाई अब और पुरजोर तरीके से लड़ेंगे हम अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के सिपाही हैं हम भाजपा की ऐसी ट्रिक्स से हरकतों से डर्टी पॉलिटिक्स से नहीं डरने वाले Neta's Atishi, Saurabh Bharadwaj, all the all the big Neta's who come out to hold a press conference, calling this dirty politics. They say that this is uh, the BJP's nature to uh, to bring down those who pose a threat to them. They, uh, I'm going to cut across though to the India Block members. Sharad Pawar, one of the ma- the faces of the India Block, who's spoken about Sanjay Singh's arrest at the India Today conclave in Mumbai. Let's have a listen at this exclusive reaction coming in. 
Sanjay Singh of the Aam Aadmi Party has been arrested today in the Delhi excise policy case. How do you see all of this? Do you see it as the India Alliance claims the Modi government being vindictive? Or do you accept that the law is taking its own course? How long will you complain ED ki wajah se sab kuch ho raha hai? No, I know this. Sir, 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 mic is there. Yeah, your mic is there, sir. What? Okay, go ahead. No, I know this gentleman is very good. He is a finance person, a very state father, and directly, indirectly, he is not associated with the charge which is against him. No, so are you saying this, that the ED is, has fixed him? This is a clear cut, vindictive action against him, and indirectly, it's a Kejriwal who happens to be chief in South Delhi. So you're saying this is a uh, vindictive action and indirectly on Mr. Kejriwal, but I want to know, Mr. Kejriwal is one of your India Alliance members. Do you believe that these actions are being taken to break your India Alliance? Yes, Do you I believe think. that the ED is being used as a weapon even to break your NCP? I know after the NCP uh, broke and Ajit Pawar moved away, the buzz in Mumbai was, Ajit Pawar was warned, if you don't break away, ED will go to your home. About daily thing I cannot tell, but it is true. Nowadays, these agencies, with the CBI, with the EZ, is practically used against the political leaders who doesn't choose to present government. So you are telling me that the ED has been used to target anyone who doesn't suit the government. Are you saying Ajit Pawar left you because of the fear of the ED? Honest at, answer. At least. Six or seven of my colleagues who are not with me today, they are gone to the other side. They personally came and saw me and they told me, hey, we have no choice, we have to take this hill. You should take this hill, this hill that is myself, and associated with us. And so forth, present set of present government. Otherwise, we have to go inside. All right, and that's uh, Sharad Pawar, who spoke exclusively to India today, calling this vendetta. He uh, makes serious allegations that they were, uh, they were threatened by the ED and the IT if they don't join the BJP, which is why he may have even considered the option in the first place. Those are images of Sanjay Singh, who's just been arrested. This is a big news.